Lise Wheel, Fox News legal analyst, for her analysis. Lise, mm -hmm. what do you make of the, the interview that she finally gave, or that the FBI finally sat down with her, I should say? It on Saturday. What does this mean about the progress of the investigation? Well, the, the thing is, you know, the, 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 she never, the, she was making a big point of, I, I have finally sat down with the FBI and I gave that interview. She, the fact is, she didn't, never had to give the interview. The FBI could have gone and investigated and given the report. And she never had to sit down. She, they could have indicted her without giving that interview. So the fact that she gave the interview voluntarily or not. Well, the really FBI would request mean, it, right? Yes. The FBI would say, can yes. you come in and sit down with It us? really doesn't mean anything, frankly. The only thing it could mean is if she lied to the FBI, they could give her, get her on a Martha Stewart, uh, which is 1001, lying to the FBI. But they could give the investigation or not. They could indict her or not, do you, do whether you think or not. They, they, they would have have tried to catch her in a lie. Of course is, they could. Is it, 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 this is the secretary, former Secretary right. of State presidential candidate. Yes. Would they be trying to trap her in a of case like this? Of course they would. But she's smarter than that. There's, there, I don't think they're going to get her on 1001, which is lying to the FBI. But at least what about the timing of the interview? This right. is so close of after course. that meeting between on the tarmac between Bill Clinton and Loretta Lynch. Yes. Is all, that, any of that the, playing uh, into this it, role? Of course. It's also on a holiday weekend where everything, mm -hmm. we're not going right. to think about it. We're all <laughs> you know on a holiday weekend. Of course, the timing is important. Um, let's go back to that meeting, if we could, on the tarmac. The whole thing for, for Lynch is the appearance of a conflict and a real conflict. Lynch has been very careful to have no conflict, but now we're getting into the real nut of it, the appearance of a conflict. Um, and with Bill Clinton getting on the tarmac and actually speaking with Lynch, now we get into the appearance of a conflict. Don't forget that Lynch was first appointed by Bill Clinton in her first job as a, pro a, a prosecutor, yes, here, a prosecutor in New York. here in New York in 1999. So. I, I, I just want to. I am naive. You think they, they were, I, you think they were talking about grandkids? Me, I am naive in thinking <laughs> that they were actually talking about grandkids. And don't forget. Your boss from 1999 gets on the plane, and you, your first instinct is to say, oh, sure, come on in, talk to me. And I am, uh, paint me naive, I probably think they were really talking about grand. Well, let me, well, I just point, point, I wait, point, wait, I want to point out something. Okay. There is a separate investigation into the Clinton Foundation. Exactly. So she's having, Loretta Lynch is having a conversation with a potential witness and a potential target in that investigation. That, that it is, it she is went about, on to say in her press conference, I, I am sorry I did that. That was wrong. If, and she went on to say, uh, if, I could, if I could speak to Eric Holder, her predecessor, what would I ask him? She said, I would ask him to tell me how I could lock the, the plane. Okay, so okay. I mean, the thing so is, she, I don't understand. She admitted but I wanna, to that, making a mistake. Then yeah. she, went, she admitted that she painted herself into a, a box here. Yeah. Shouldn't she, she recuse yeah. herself at this point? No, she admitted to pay, making I mean, a mistake, and now she is in a position where she has to accept what the career prosecutors say, which, by the way, Holder did not paint himself into a box, mm -hmm. but, 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 but with Petraeus. Petraeus, Petraeus when, he, when, when his career prosecutors gave him a recommendation, felony, he was able to paint okay. himself out of that box and give betray what? a misdemeanor. I, 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 I just want to add, yes. John Ashcroft, for example, recused himself yes. in the Valerie Plame case. Right. And it was handed off to a prosecutor right. who worked out of the Chicago office, I think. So there's precedent for her stepping aside. There is. And she's using wordplay here to make it very unclear to people that, even like me, that are very observant but don't really know the legal back end of the Justice Department to understand exactly what she's doing. She's making it seem like she's sort of recused herself, but she hasn't. She, she hasn't really hasn't. So why isn't herself. she being more clear with her language? Because it seems like she's a little bit all over the or, place. Or her actions. Or her Go actions. Ahead and or good, yeah. If you're the point the, is, is the prosecutors right. are prosecutor. handling it, then let them handle it. Well, she is saying that though. She is saying she's not recusing herself, but she's saying I'm going to let the prosecutors handle it.
And so that, this is very yeah. that's, well, least, that's, I will say I'll back you up on one thing. Yeah. If you've ever played golf with Bill Clinton, and I know people that yeah. have, he does talk and talk and talk. They can't get him off the golf course. So 30 minutes about grandkids is possible yes. in the world of Bill Clinton. But here, but but tie it to Hillary Clinton <laughs> sitting down on Saturday morning and giving this interview, what does it say about where this FBI investigation goes now? Because the thinking is they're try the FBI is trying to wrap it up, potentially right. wrapping it up before the convention. Right. And what uh, is there any way to read into where they go with I this? I don't think the Hillary Clinton uh, interview really meant anything to the FBI. I think they probably, I think they probably made up their mind already. But you think they're going to move on? Yeah, I think this is it. And don't, no, I think, I think they've probably wrapped up their interview. I think they've really wrapped well, it up. And Unless done. Hillary Clinton had some kind of big bombshell on Saturday, which I, so I no, don't think. So no indictment. No, no, no. I'm not saying no indictment. No, she just said that, th no. that they've decided what I they're going to do. I think they've decided what they're going to do. Mm. I don't think Hillary Clinton interview really meant anything unless she had some huge lie, which I don't think happened. Mm. Okay. But I think they've decided what they're going to do, and I don't think Saturday interview any, meant one thing Any well. indication of where they, which way they go? Is there any way to know? No. Being a... Uh, a prosecutor looking at looking at it from the outside. Any way to know? No. Okay. That'll no. be the final word, Lee. No, I, I don't <laughs> think so. Unless, unless again, she made some 1,001 big lie, which is lying to federal prosecutors. Martha better, Stewart. I don't think it's. I don't think it made. They a better difference. do it fast. They're going to do it. Do it now. Well, and, well before the convention. Political, right. Exactly. Know? And yeah. the fact that the interview happened over the weekend suggests that they're getting ready to move. They're getting ready to move one way or the other. Lise, great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you so much, Lise Wheel, joining us.